In this video, I'm going to give you a quick introduction to the Drawn Mask tool to help you um, control which areas of an image are affected. I'll be using sharpening in this one. All right, so let's say you've, you've got an image and you really want an area of it to really pop because you know when you shoot wide open, the image is always a little bit soft. So you want this to be nice and crisp, but when you apply some sharpening, it really turns all that out of focus area into something that looks quite harsh and hideous and you just don't want that. So one way to do this is to use the difference blending mode and mess around with the settings until you get the area that you want in focus to be nice and light and the area that you don't want in focus to be nice and dark. But depending on the image, this doesn't always work. Uh, it, it's it's not a perfect method. It's a good first try, but sometimes you just got to be a little more manual than this. I'm going to go back to, to normal. So a drawn mask is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. You use the tool, you draw on part of the image, and the filter that you apply will only go on where you've drawn. So let's start by playing with this tool. I'm just going to double click to get the settings back to the defaults because I've set them way too aggressively. Okay, so now they're back where they've started. That's the image to start. That's the image now. Let's put the detail up a little bit more. This image doesn't have a lot of color saturation, so I find we can be fairly aggressive with this tool. All right. Okay, I'm, let's, let's see. Okay, yeah, I'm fairly happy with where that's going now for this area, but yeah, that area and that area looks awful. Okay. So I'm gonna click on blend mode and go down to drawn mask. And this will expand the window a little bit and give you some of these options here. Got, got a few different ones. I'm just gonna go and add brush and the area in the center is pretty much the area that will be affected and the dotted circle surrounding it is that's just showing you how it's the feathered edge how far out the feathering goes um, you can use your scroll wheel to scroll up to shrink it scroll down to enlarge it All right. I'm not going to go into these settings too much I'm just going to keep it simple scroll it to where you like it click the left mouse button and hold and now you draw on the areas you want the filter to apply to. All right. And then let go. And you might notice this computer is drawing all sorts of weird stuff on your screen and lines and stuff, but that's just to show you the paths. It, it really doesn't matter. Once you click on anything else, it'll disappear. So now if you go back to the local contrast tool, that's the original image and with a filter applied. So it really makes that center area pop. So that is one way to control where a filter gets applied is the drawn mask. Click where it says blend, you select drawn mask, and then you go at it. Just draw the mask in and there you go. All right, thanks for watching.